Good morning guys! How are you all? Happy Sunday. Sorry there was no video last week, but I'm here, I'm back. What have you been up to? How have you been? How was Halloween? Today is Monday when I'm recording this. That, no, that's a lie. <laughs> Today is Tuesday when I'm recording this, so last night was Halloween and it was so cute obviously gray is three now so last year she would have been two and we did go trick-or-treating but it was she didn't really understand what she was doing it was cute and she liked the sweets but she wasn't like fully ready for it whereas this year like she really got it and it was so cute we went to her little nursery halloween party it was like a little disco and then we went trick-or-treating in our local area with her little friend she dressed up as a skeleton and she just loved it she she wasn't like scared or freaked out there was like loads of kids our area there's loads of young families loads of kids walking around trick-or-treating like some of the houses have crazy like decorations like even just going up to someone's house and like saying trick-or-treat like i wasn't sure if she was gonna do it and she just absolutely embraced it and loved it and it was really really cute it was pouring with rain which is such a shame i feel like i really remember from my childhood that it would always rain on halloween and it was so annoying so i was walking around like holding all her stuff like getting soaking wet um, she had her little umbrella but it was really special and it was really sweet and I loved it Rich came for a little bit with Rudy and then he went back home to like hand out sweets to kids and then put Rudy to bed Grey stayed up like super late it was very wholesome lovely family memories I'm having quite a productive day quite a productive morning which is making me feel good it's kind of lunchtime now I've been like filming some TikToks and like still giving that platform a go I have to say it is um not entirely sure how I feel about it yet all I'm gonna say is it's nice to come onto YouTube and feel like you guys know me on here <laughs> feel like we've got a nice community on here and I kind of know what to expect and it feels like I'm talking to friends it's a little bit scary with a new platform when you don't really feel like you have that yet but I'm always up for trying new things and giving it a go I think my friend Jake is coming over tonight which will be really nice he's gonna come over he's gonna come over for dinner he's actually my least favorite person to make dinner for because he is an unbelievable cook like he is just so good if he wasn't an opera singer he could be a chef so I hate cooking for people who are really good at cooking because I feel like my cooking's pretty simple but there is one recipe which me and Rich always like pull out of the bag when we want to impress people and it's so easy. It's from Jamie Oliver's Five Ingredients book and it's this like beef shin thing with like Worcester sauce and carrots and it's so simple but it just, it's delicious and it tastes like something you have in a restaurant and you have it with cauliflower rice and he's quite healthy so I feel like he'd like that. So um, that is what we're going to do. Also going to get some nice red wine that will go with that and it'll be really nice to catch up with him before he whizzes off around the world again. He's forever travelling for work. What else do I have to share with you? We had a really lovely weekend. I was feeling a bit down at the end of last week and just I won't even go into it but I I knew that I just needed to like get out and get into like the thick of London like for me that makes me feel so good. We actually had like a weekend of two parts. On Saturday we were like out out full-on London day and then Sunday it was like a home get organized sort my life out day and that, it's like the best of both right. We also went for a roast so it was a really lovely weekend. On Saturday we went to like a uh, Tate Modern we walked along the Thames, we went to Bar and Market. It was so busy, but it was also just so lovely to just feel like we were like, you know, what's the point of living in London unless you're doing these things? And I love showing the kids and I love that they're not overwhelmed by like how crazy busy it is. And then we went to like playground and it was a really nice weekend. Actually me and Rich were saying, we were like, as much as like, we do love doing those days with the kids. Like we get so much out of it. We also quite miss just doing like London stuff like that together. And actually I think for my birthday, Rich's parents are gonna come down and stay and look after the kids for the day, which would be amazing. And we're gonna go and like have a London day. Cause I just wanna like walk around London and like get drunk and try loads of food and just pretend we're in our twenties. So we're gonna do that for my birthday and I'm really excited. It's actually Rich's birthday first. Rich's birthday is at the end of November. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna get him? I don't know what to get him. I might get him tickets to Hamilton. He's wanted to see that for ages. He likes like Lululemon stuff and oh, I don't know. I feel like I put so much thought into our anniversary because we like went to stay somewhere, got my spa day, got my little jumper. Like there's just this time of year, it's just so many birthdays in my family. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then it's Christmas. It's just a lot. So anyway, we had a really fun London day and then Sunday, yeah, like organised the toy cupboard and did some like home organisation. We went for a really yummy roast. Actually, they were out of roast beef, which was so disappointing because I'd really, really been looking forward to it. So I had to get chicken, which would not be my first choice because I feel like you can make roast chicken at home so easily, but like there's nothing like a good roast beef on a Sunday. Some of my favourite pubs are booked up until Christmas for a Sunday roast. Like London pubs are insane. If they're good, they're busy. Guys, look at this. I just thought I would check my little um, cuttings. That is totally a root, isn't it? Oh my gosh. But now I just realised I don't know what the next step is. At what point do I plant this there? And do I like keep this leaf bit? How deep do I plant it? Oh my gosh, I've got a lot of googling to do. How's this one doing? This one is starting to grow a little bit as well. Um, right, I need to make sure that is in the water. I should probably change the water. Oh my gosh, this feels intense. Okay, you ready for lunch? Yummy, yummy lunch. Okay, I massively need a break and a coffee and some food because I've had quite a creative morning and then I always get to this time where I just feel a bit like, ah, what am I doing? Um, I was raving about this the other day on my Instagram. This is from m and and it's the Bang Bang Chicken with Sauté Dip. Sounds simple, but it's absolutely delicious. Like, the dip is insane. Um, so I'm going to give this a go. A lot of you said to try the Bang Bang Chicken and Rice Noodle Salad because it's got the same dressing, this like sauté dressing. I'm going to give that a go. Rich picked up some meat for tonight, a nice bottle of red wine. I think we've got all the other ingredients that we need for that dish actually. I've just had the crumpet of my life. Mm, so nice. Thanks. Eccentric molecule, molecule, oh, I just made a video, video where I talked about that, <laughs> that perfume and how people always compliment me when I wear it and then you literally just said I smell nice. You know my grandma also wears this perfume. Does <laughs> she? Anyway, I just had the crumpet of my life. I had a crumpet with cream cheese, smoked salmon and what did I put on top? Pickle. Pickle? You love a pickle. Right, we are going to go out. For. I'm so excited for this. It's not raining. It's sunny. It might be a bit wet because oh shh, it was really raining earlier. It was yeah. pouring. Why? What? Let's just stick to paths. It's fine. We're gonna go out for the autumnal walk that I was talking about recently. I've wanted to do this. I don't want to miss the boat when the leaves aren't nice. We're gonna go for a nice little autumn walk with Rudy. I want to get a hot chocolate. How cosy. Hot chocolate. I just want to look at the beautiful trees. I want to take some pictures of them. And I just think it'll be cute. You don't look yeah. convinced, Rich. Because <laughs> it's going to rain. <laughs> Is it going to rain? I don't know. It's rained all day. Has it? But it's really sunny, so let's just take advantage of it now. I'm, look, I'm trying to be like, let's go out and get fresh air. You love fresh air. Okay, we, let's do this. Let's do this. But now I'm thinking I was going to wear trainers and now I'm worried about the mud. But we're just going to walk around the village and then, like, through paths. Yeah. So I don't think we'll get muddy. I'm going to wear my Adidas Terex. Oh man, they're like proper walking muddy shoes. No, they're perfect for this weather. Yeah, but I was going to wear like my white trainers. Ooh, don't. But I want to. I'm going to make a reel where I'm like walking and then I like add in nice pictures of trees. I have a vision. I really want that hot chocolate though. Okay, let's go. Rudy. Morning, gorgeous boy. to go for a walk. Hello. <laughs> he like sits up and then just like flops back down. So thankful for the yo-yo foot muff it's called. Oh can you hold there yeah. Um literally keeps Rudy so cozy. The best things for the yo-yo in the colder months. Hey don't touch my camera. This is very much satisfying my um, autumnal walk needs. It is so nice. It's just so fresh. I think Rudy's loving looking at all the leaves and stuff as well. Working Labrador. A working Labrador? Yeah, like a working... Doesn't look very hard at work. It's just having a great time in the park. Oh, we're on the road. Oh God, don't be on the road. Rich is stopping people to ask them what dogs they have. My brother-in-law wants a dog, but my, my sister doesn't want a dog and he seems to be team brother-in-law. <laughs> you know, like scoping out the what's going on. So, um, so what? That was a wor working. So it's, it's a Labrador, but it's um, from it's like a working breed. Yeah. 
she said. Looked smaller, like yeah. thinner than a Labrador. So that's what working, Some Labradors are chunky. That's working dogs. Ah, oh, that's what she said. Working dogs are slimmer. Ah. Um, but she said he's very good with kids um, and a very good manner. Yeah, but they need a lot of walks. Uh, yeah, they're, you can tell. They like a good walk. Yeah. Oh my god, we are about to go up the biggest hill. That's the problem with this part of London. It's beautiful, but there are a lot of hills. This is just the beginning. I don't think I'm fit enough for this. Rudy, you've got, you've got it all right. Right, this is what I'm making for dinner. Jamie Oliver's melting mustardy beef. Literally five ingredients. Um, shin of beef, carrots, onions, Worcester sauce, and whole grain mustard. Oh my God, Rich, do we have whole grain mustard? Yes, okay. I ordered some. So good. Grain. Oh, so yum. Wait, this boy is growing up way too quickly for my liking. Like what? He climbs up Grace Tower. It's very stressful. And then I have to try and cook and make sure he doesn't fall off. You are too little for this, mister. <laughs> the, the key to this recipe is the Worcester sauce. It really, I never really use this for cooking, but it adds the most amazing flavor with the mustard. All right, let me just turn my music off. Okay, I have adult fied the house. Rudy's gone up for his bath, Grey's down here, but I'm gonna take her up in a minute. And I've literally whizzed around, tidied up all the toys. Oh my God, I've just noticed one massive toy that I forgot. I can go down here. Tidied up the toys, lit a candle, made sure the downstairs toilet is clean and the toddler seat's been taken off, sprayed some perfume in there, sprayed some nice smell in the hallway. I mean, this is like my oldest best friend. This is not because I'm trying to impress. It's just so nice sometimes to have like adult company in the kids are in bed and it just feel like adult time and that's all part of me making it feel like adult time so we've got a candle going we've got some little nice placemats and plates out got beauty pie candle can't remember the scent of this one but it's so nice got a bottle of red wine open got some wine glasses out and also these glasses we got these from ikea for water and they are so nice i really like them they're the perfect size we really needed some new water glasses need to get our extra chair from the loft down. Okay, kids are in bed. The beef is still cooking. It just like gets better and better the longer it cooks for. Um, and I just wanted to check in the freezer to see if we have cauliflower rice. Yes, we do. These are the M&S frozen cauliflower rice. So you get like two perfectly portioned sachets of chopped cauliflower and you can just like microwave those. So easy. I hate making cauliflower rice. That's the only thing I do find it a bit of a faff. My mum does it all the time, but I don't love making cauliflower rice. You could also have this with couscous. I think that would be really nice. Oh, I'm very orange. Sorry, evening light. Jake bought lovely flowers. Hi, Jake. Oh. <laughs> um, and look, I just said I've got special little, I was gonna use scissors. I've got special little sacateurs to trim them with. What are they called? Oh no, what they're called? <laughs> Succotors. No. Succotors. I said. What? Succotors. 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 What did I say? Succotors. Succotors. I found these in the freezer and we don't normally have them with this meal, but they say they go off in November 2022. I think they're left over from last Christmas. So I thought I'd throw them in. If you're not from the UK, Aunt Bessie's um, Yorkshire puddings, they're my fave, personally. So. You cook them from frozen, five minutes. Um, now that Grey has gone to bed, we can say hi to Jake. Hiya. Cheers. Um, Rich, you are right. That was a terrible bedtime. Yep. Whenever Grey like, knows there's someone here, she just wants to come downstairs and yep. join in. It's painful. Testing. All right, well done. I'm going to put these in five minutes, and then I think we're almost ready. Uh, no? It takes three hours. Oh. Oh, so Jesus. Really Guys, we're a bit stressed at how non-presentable it looks. I've already talked about how stressful it is cooking for you, Jake. <laughs> Literally, we always do takeaway because Jake's such a good cook. But it's tonight fine. we thought it's we'd just yummy. try. All right, here you go. Give. Let's just put these. Put these on the table. God, are you gonna put that on your vlog? That food. Shut, <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> um, also, I'm giving the salt and pepper just in case, out of panic. I never put salt and pepper on the table. Absolutely. But just in case. Should I face you guys? No, no, that's mean. That's like you're being interviewed. Oh, yeah, I like to be interviewed. <laughs> I actually hate being interviewed. Let's I'm cheers sorry. our wine. Have you got any wine? 
Oh, I haven't got any of the new nice wine, but I'm going to finish mine first. All right. Cheers. 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 Cheers, don't break my nice glasses. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Lovely. That's Rich. got more flavour to it. Oh, let me try Why, did you bring like a nice wine? Mm. Uh, I didn't bring any old cheap mm. ones. Wow, they're so different. Yours is like really strong. <laughs> Ours is just like some watery supermarket. Mm. Oh no, you've got wine teeth, do I? Am I allowed to drink red wine with veneers? Must yeah. be able to. Just brush them off to slow. I will, yeah. I always brush my teeth before bed. Like, oh, I have to wait it's yummy. Time. Is it yummy? <laughs> it's yummy. Yeah. Does it need more seasoning? No. Good. It's perfect. Woohoo! Right, I want some now. Our dinner guest has been very rude in watching the football at the table. Come <laughs> I'm not, I just checked the score. Who are they even playing? Marseille. Yeah. The Champions League, Lily. Mm. Get the camera out of my face, Lily. <laughs> Rich, how was the dinner? Really good. Well done. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. Just but, needed that extra hour, but whatever. We yeah, we didn't. Time. We yeah, we were running out of time. Also, four hours. Jake just gave us beef tips. Meat tips. Beef tips. Well, specific to beef. No. Oh. Just dry it. Dry. <laughs> we meant to dry the meat, like pat it dry before what you. What did you do before? Oh, it kind of boil and you take it out an hour before we did that. We let it. We let it just chill Obviously on the side. Season it. And I did all of that. It I, uh, I didn't. It told me not to pour. You literally just. Dry. Dry. It said to. And then, and then you oil the carrots. That's when you add the oil once the carrots go in. Did the beef not stick to the pan? No, it didn't actually. Maybe because I didn't dry it. Ha! Huh. See, if I dried it, it would have stuck. So you boiled it in a pan? No, it didn't boil. No, but that's what you did essentially because the water. It wasn't that watery. It's sweaty though, isn't it? Sweaty what? beef. Mm, oh no, I'm gonna get hate. Then it boils. I'm gonna get hate. If we talk about sweaty beef, this is not gonna go down well. <laughs> Rich is getting out dessert. I'm not sure we can call it oh, dessert. Gray's, um, Halloween, Gray's Halloween haul. She has yes. no idea. Oh my gosh, she actually forgot, didn't she? Yeah. I thought the next day she was going to be like, where are my sweets? But she hasn't mentioned it. Well, let's. She got twigs. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Who cares? Okay, cream egg. Well, this is all that's left. <laughs> oh no, leave those for her. She loves Harry Bow. Fine. I don't like yeah, Harry Bow. She can have those. Got it. <laughs> What are they? What are these? Like they are them. gigantic orange buttons. Orange buttons? Yep. Who's are they? Yours. Why? Because I went to M&S, so it was the nearest place, and I wanted to get you dark chocolate orange. What oh, was this today? Yeah. Oh, thanks, like Rich. Lint. You like the lint chocolate orange, don't you? Yeah, it's really kind. And they didn't have any, so I got the next best thing. Thanks, and now Jake's eating them. Thing. Standard. Oh man. Snoozy leaves. <laughs> yeah, I do want the cream. Oh, they are gigantic. Wow. Oh my god, I did not <laughs> oh. I did not expect them to I mean be. I'm pretty small, but they are pretty big. <laughs> they make you look like you've got a pea head. Oh why? <laughs> Let me see how big they are. Pass me on. What, to a normal human. Yeah. To a normal size head. There you go. Pass it. That's big. It's like, a, it's like a cheek. Yeah. Okay. It's because they're not giant. They're called gigantic. Yeah. Mmm. You can't do product placement, don't tell me where you got them. I'm an ass. Oh no. Oh yeah. That's that bad. Nah, I wish. <laughs> this is Rich's early birthday present um, from his friend. Sex toy. He's obsessed with it. You can't even see it moving because it's so fast. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. It just wasn't moving. Oh, that's pretty good. It's got. We do it on me? You shouldn't do it on arms and stuff. Do it on like oh, muscles. Ow, 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 don't so this is for like. Do it on my leg. No, this is to get in. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Go on, do it on me. Oh my god. I'm gonna sign off for tonight. I'll vlog again tomorrow. We're just watching season six of Somebody Feed Phil. He's in Croatia. See you tomorrow. Morning. It is the next day. We're all up bright and early today. First thing we're doing this morning is going on another primary school tour. We need to drop Grey at my sister's house. My brother-in-law's looking after her because she's not allowed to come. I'm hungry. I'm making breakfast. My new obsession. Ow! Mm. Let me see. Ah. I did it you climbing up. Dry. Oh, is it not, it's not from just like not drying your hands after No, I climbed, taking the Halloween decorations down. I climbed. My new obsession is a crumpet with lots of cream cheese and smoked salmon and pepper. Mm. 
delish. Loads and loads of cream cheese. Like a whole one of these pots. <gasps> okay, wait, that's maybe too much. And salmon. in the morning I have a tiny bit of oh, salmon salt, right? have one one bit that's a little bit there yeah. she doesn't ask for much my daughter <coughs> all right Rudy you can't have this yet apple and honey is that yum Okay, I'm going straight from the school tour into town. So this is what I'm wearing today. It's it's maybe a little bit different for me, but I thought I'd give it a go. I've basically got these trousers from Cezanne I've had for a while and I haven't really known how to wear them. They're like an olive green kind of chino, slightly on the bigger side for me at the moment, but I, I really like them. I haven't worked out how to wear them, but I thought if I match them with this brown jumper, it's a kind of tonal like earthy look. I'm wearing my Vasia trainers. I haven't worn these in a while. They do need a clean. They've got the nice like camel colored V. And then then going with the earthy tones, I thought I could wear my trench coat. Put this on and see how it looks. I like that. And then just like a crossbody bag or something. Okay, I'm in town. Um, school tour was good. Took ages. And we had Rudy with us who just finds things like that so boring. He just wants to crawl around. So um, that was tricky, but it was good. I'm going to meet Millie, who is a friend who I worked with for years. Um, annoyingly, she's at her house doing emails. And I'm going to go meet her there, which is not somewhere I'm allowed to film. I'll take a photo of my lunch and insert it here, if I remember. Let's take a picture of my um, lunch. I knew I'd forget. It was pizza, spicy salami pizza, and it was delicious. Look at here, Lily. We had no soup. We had a lovely little catch-up, like that one. The Greek street so house it's impossible to find <laughs> with a secret door. Now walking back to the tube because it's starting to rain. Very quickly going to pop into Arche because I've got like 10 minutes free time. Okay now I'm heading to the Space and Case store right next to the Harrods. Um, they want to introduce me to the new Stella skincare range. So it's a skincare range by Stella McCartney. I actually don't know much about it. Um, I did a little bit of research before coming but I'm excited to kind of hear about the brand. I think they're going to try some of the products on me so that'd be a nice way to end the day. The hands present space in K is one of my faves. It's so nice. They've got really lovely treatment rooms at the back. Look at this very relaxing space. All the products are here. Love all the packaging. Love the refills. <gasps> yes. That's like a cleanser there refill. Way. Oh my God, can you hear the relaxing, the talky lady? The way to live in harmony. This looks so nice. The way to be at one with nature. Restore cream. Oh, I'm very excited to try all of this. You know the pump, yes. which is uh, not recyclable. So the, the, the system we have is, you know, this. So the idea is that you will keep that forever. And the only thing you will ref you will uh, change is this uh, soft uh, refill. So that's, that's like, oh, wow. It's like, yeah, so it's completely flat. So it's going to... You know, you don't really have to pour anything in. No, exactly. So in. Yeah. And it's an airless pump, so it's really going. You you can use it until All the, the way. very, very, very <laughs> last drop. And I love it, you know, because it's <laughs> seen a, it scroll exactly. Up, yeah. And I, it's like a living, you know, product. <laughs> so this we That's have this great. system there and there. You know. And uh, what is also cool with it is that uh, when you get the refill, it comes with a little lid. So you can, when you travel, oh, you can, you so know, you keep the lid. Yeah. And you can, you know, remove it from there and you just put the lid back Clever. and you travel with it as a toothpaste uh, tube, for instance. Yeah, yeah. So it is packed with sunflower oil, so it's going to uh, melt away makeup. So it's like a milky cleanser, but it then it foams up nicely as well. So I feel like it really does the job without stripping the skin.
Guys, I've just finished having the most amazing facial. I tried to film some clips and then I was just enjoying it too much. I had to just like fully relax into it. That she did like facial massage. The products are really nice, like even nicer than I expected actually. It's really simple. There's just a cleanser, a serum, a moisturizer, and they haven't got lanolin and linalool in, which is something I always look at because my friend Debs is allergic to that and it's fragrance. And for me, similarly, when that's got and that's in products I'm not allergic but that's when my eczema gets bad so it's really nice to see that it's quite simple ingredients not a lot of fragrance at all and I showed you the little clip of like the refillable packaging really really clever um, it's all made to remind her of her childhood in like the greenery of Scotland and all like the fresh nature and yeah it's just really really lovely and my skin feels great so I'm really excited to try those products myself at home um, I'm gonna start walking because uh, there are two ladies sitting there who are literally just watching me vlog <laughs> I feel awkward about it um, so yeah I'm gonna head home now I forgot to show you also when I went into Arquette um, I bought a pair of jeans I hate that I'm having to buy jeans so often but um, these ones actually fit me and also this really nice like white cream cable knit jumper a little bit shorter than my other jumpers I thought that would be really nice as well I'm home and got a lot to get on with got a lot of like family stuff to do and lots to jam in for the next three hours before tennis so I'm gonna love you and leave you thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you in my next video bye